Today's game is being played in Newson Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to a country star Darth Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and nine. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and five. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hot. First down! And it's first and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Second down in a very lot. Sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. <laughs> down and never going to happen. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot. 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 And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second and three. Hot one. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow.
third and two. First down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. First down and three. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Second down in a mile. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Oh, man, he shanked that. There goes my spread. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. And this game is up for grabs.
They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a punt being snagged. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. you got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. you got to make that catch. Second down and ten. Holy exploding baby diapers, Batman. That just knocked the ball loose. Third down and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. And they'll line up for the punt here. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Defense goal, one speed. And at the back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and six. Oh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. 
He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third and four. The receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. Apparently the punter for the day is being played by my kid's sister. And she no return on this punt. The defense will just down it. Well, I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! That's the way you do it! Let him have it and then take it away! Second down and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the... A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And that'll bring up third and one. He had it for a second there. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nut. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Second down and two. <laughs> What is this, 80s wrestling? And that'll be their final timeout. And it's first and ten. Second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? 
Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. You see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. With a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. First and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. fine player even when he's not getting electrocuted and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is in palm grim that cross stitching, unbelievable. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Oh, and he just exploded like Humpty Dumpty. What a mess. Tell me about it. Looks like Humpty Dumpty did a little Dumpty Dumpty in his pants when he got hit. Eh, can't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> warming up they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing
It's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and three. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. four-yard gain. Third down and long. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that'll be second and eight to go. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up with a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I just marked it as territory. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And like a monkey trying to 
fucking Greece football. He can... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because he just put that guy into his misery and says, who's next? <laughs> and this guy is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. A brutal head-on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Second down and ten.
Bears defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the mic. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. Like a jack. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their feast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is going to get ugly fast. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tag. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. point attempt. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> And it's first and ten. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Second down and nine. It's a brutal hit. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this pass for me. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. The offense is going to need... The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And that is one big first down. The QB needs to stop kissing his linemen and get that. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and six. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and four. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Looks like someone uploaded some new dance moves. The 
They're going for two points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he picks up about six on the play. The Lycan secure the win, and now these Wolves are going to party. I uh, picked up a werewolf cheerleader once. Let me tell you, uh, Grandma, there's no such thing as safe sex with a werewolf. See this guy here? That ain't no tattoo. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcast.